Chapter 56 John Knox and His Mother-in-Law John Knox is known to history as the great Scottish reformer. Some have called him the spiritual father of the United States. Greyfriars Church in Edinburgh, Scotland, has an American flag near the chancel to commemorate that tie. And when the vaulted roof was retimbered a few years ago, it was done with California redwood, a further witness to the connection with us. Knox was a strong, vigorous man, not even a sentence to being a galley slave on a French ship, chained to an oar endlessly, could break his spirit. There is a side to Knox over the years not generally known, and historians waste no time writing about it. Knox, in his various travels, some a flight to safety, wrote not only to his wife, but to his mother-in-law. Because Knox loved his wife, he loved the mother who gave her to him. Knox addressed her as, quote, Dear Mother, end quote, and she found him to be the finest possible son. This gratitude for loved ones and friends always marked Knox. Like St. Paul, his was a temper that could say of all those close to him, quote, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, end quote, Philippians 1, 3. Such thankfulness was very deep and real to Knox. The result? John Knox commanded loyalty as few men have. He gave love and appreciation where it was due, and he required it in return. Knox still has much to teach us.